what's up everybody thanks for checking in for another video on today's video we have a new bike part that's right a bike part we're gonna go ahead and replace this long stem here for a much shorter stem here and uh, from the research and what I'm told is it will give me a lot more control and nimbleness here as well as uh, allow me to put a lot more pressure on the front wheel when I'm uh, going about turns and things like that um, research I've done is all you need is an allen key or a unitool if you have one um, and that's all you will need to go ahead and get all of the uh, tools and utility bolts off of it so we'll go ahead and get that started and get it measured up Just so you get some kind of relevance of how short my stem is going to be it's about the size of my unitool so big difference going from the original stem to this stem so we'll go ahead and get this started all right, so for the first part, we got to go ahead and break these hardware loose and go ahead and remove this plate so we can go ahead and free up our handlebars. Just take your time. No hurries. And as you're doing these bottom bolts, remember to go ahead and hold on to the plate or your handlebars. Because you do not want your handlebars hitting the ground or just uh, completely falling off. You could damage your cables, your brakes, or even your handlebars. So be very careful uh, when you're on the last bolt here. And just remember your handlebars can go ahead and fall and you can get some serious damage done so we got this plate off here this aside and you can just go ahead and rest your handlebars down here on the front tire somewhere and uh, I'm put this plate back on for safekeeping of the hardware so some movie magic we'll go ahead and get these put on real quick Alright, with the little movie magic, we went ahead and re-secured the hardware up to the front of the stem so you can store it, use it again later, sell it, or if you decide to go back to the long stem, you still have it for safekeeping. Um, the next step is going to go ahead and loosen these bolts that hold it down to the fork. So we're going to go ahead and get those taken care of. One piece. Come on, second one. And number two. And the third step is to go ahead and loosen up the end cap. Um, at this point, I was given a warning to be careful because if you have it on a bike stand, I don't. But if you have it on a bike stand, there is a chance that your spacers come off and the fork and tire fall straight to the ground. So in that case, just be careful right here if you do have it on a bike stand. If not, I guess you're okay in my case. Um, but we'll go ahead and take loosen up this end cap. This is my first time doing this, so I hope y'all are enjoying. Never felt that before. See the bike full catch. If you see it. I've never felt the fork come loose and got the end cap off. See that? Diamond back end cap. Pretty cool. So like I said, this is my first time doing this. And this should just slide right off. Cool. Alright, I'm just going to put the hardware back in for some safekeeping and storage for later. Alright, so we got the original stem off. And this, uh, let's see here, there we go. This is what the new one will look like. So, a big size difference. So, go ahead and hope this works out get this all cleaned up and get the new part on all right so with a little movie magic we got this all cleaned up 
took the original stock stem off, placed it here, and we got the uh, new Diamondback uh, stem. This actually comes off the Diamondback Atroz, Atroz, I'm not sure if I'm pronouncing it right, but this is what stem it is, and we're going to go ahead and fasten this down. I've got my little helper, my son here, Brandon, going to help me hold this fork up. Just hold that there for me, buddy, while I tighten this. See the, I've never done this before, so the fork did slightly move, um, but it didn't come out. None of the bearings came out or anything like that, so it's all right, I believe, as long as none of the guts fall out. So there you go, buddy. Thank you very much for your help. Yeah, and we're going to go ahead and uh, fasten the stem down and just make sure you have everything lined up the way you want. Make sure everything's all copper steady and flush. Got all your spacers in there. Ooh, I have to really back this out to uh, get it on there. All right, so uh, make sure we got, oh yeah, seems pretty secure there. All right. And tighten this side back here. All right, about hand tight, and we can go ahead and put the end cap back on here. Let's start it by hand. You don't want to strip any of the hardware in there. So we'll get that started there. Nice and dialed in. And I'm just going to get it hand tight so it's there. I'm not going to tighten it down completely yet until I am ready to get everything sorted and tightened up. Alright guys, well we got the uh, new stem fastened down to the fork and we're going to go ahead and remove the hardware here to put the handlebars and realign the handlebars back on here. It's a little time consuming but uh, this is like one of my I guess first major somewhat upgrades besides the pedals so this is pretty exciting for me new learning experience hope you're enjoying it seeing a first timer do it all the mistakes oh no there's a washer there yeah make sure you don't lose the washers on these little screws they really help out and it's really cool I got my son Brandon out here helping me so you know making some mistakes he's there to help me uh, pick up the pieces in case I do drop some pieces you can help me find them too alright so we got the cover off here and we're gonna go ahead and line these handlebars back up hey I forgot which way they went psych alright this is going to go here, and we're not going to fasten it all the way down. We're just going to get it so it holds the bars here to the stem, and we'll go ahead and adjust everything afterwards. You don't want to get on your bike and you're like, hey, what's up with my bars? Why are they looking all funny? It's because you didn't adjust them free. Or mock up your handlebars before you tighten everything down. So, don't want to make that mistake here. It's moves be magic. We'll go ahead and get this hardware put on and get to the next step. All right. All right, guys. As you can see, we got these bolts to put in, but they're not tight, as I can still move the handlebars. So you just want to go ahead and uh, get them somewhat mocked up so that you can still adjust your handlebars according to your liking. If you want the Rise on them a little higher, rise on them a little lower, and make sure you sit on your bike. You don't want to get on and uh, line them up this way and sit on your bike and you see, hey, uh, you know what, this isn't the way I like it. You're going to have to go through this whole process over again. But uh, rule of thumb is you go ahead and start on the bottom or the top and you do a little on one side and a little on the other side so that it keeps 
the threadings evenly all the way through until you're fully secured with the setting your stem into the final position. Lucky for me, I did go ahead and sit on the bike already and mock these up. So this is the setting I want them at. And we're just tightening it up. Make sure, oops, make sure you don't do that. Make sure you do not strip these bolts. <laughs> just a hand tight and make sure they don't move. And then last part is to go ahead and refasten your stem cap here. Which is what we're gonna do now. Make sure you got your bars and everything else evened up before you fasten this down. There is a torque Allen key that you have, but if you're like me, you just do hand tight. And you should be good. So if you look up from the top, you can see your handlebars are lined up with your fork. You have your stem usually lined up with the frame as well as the front tire. So kind of eyeball it. It's not gonna be dead on, but eyeball it. See what you're comfortable with and go ahead and tighten the uh, end cap there to go ahead and put everything into place into its final position. All right, back to me again. Well, that's gonna go ahead and conclude this video of the new stem install. I hope you enjoyed watching a new timer like me go through the struggles and the fumbles that I went through. Um, but hey, it's all a learning process. Just like me, I started somewhere and got to start somewhere to learn how to work on my own bike until I can get a new one. So thanks for watching. Hit the like button. Leave a comment below of what you think. And we'll see you out there on the trail.